using the thermochemical cycle and the data given calculate the standard enthalpy change for the reaction given below we have to calculate the standard enthalpy change of this reaction and then check the given thermochemical data we can see standard enthalpy change of formation of all the reactants and all the products were given for these type of questions there are two methods to get the answer either you can use a thermochemical cycle or you can use the equation to find the answer now we will move to the answer for the first question standard enthalpy change of the reaction equals sigma standard enthalpy is of products minus sigma standard enthalpy is of reactants now we will substitute values for this equation when substituting values you have to be careful with these coefficients in the balanced chemical equation because the given standard enthalpy change of formation you have to multiply it by the coefficients we will move to the products standard enthalpy change of formation of c2h6 it's minus 84.7 multiplied by 2 then h2o gas minus 214.8 again multiplied by 2 because of the coefficient and then the unit it's important because you will get marks for the unit kilojoules per mole then you need to subtract standard enthalpy change of formation of ch4 gas it's minus 74.8 again multiplied by 4 kilojoules per mole next minus 84.7 multiplied by 2 it's minus 169.4 then 214.8 into 2 again it's minus 429.6 you need to subtract minus 299.2 Minus 599, this will become positive 299.2. Then the final answer is minus 299.8 kilojoules per mole. Question number 2. Calculate the standard entropy change for the reaction in part b1 above first we will write the expression for standard entropy change standard entropy change equals sigma standard entropies of products minus sigma standard entropies of reactants As previous, when substituting values for this equation, you need to be careful with these coefficients in the balanced chemical equation. These standard entropies, we need to multiply it by the coefficient. Standard entropies of products, the first one is C2H6 gas, it's 229.6 multiplied by 2. Then add standard entropy of H2O gas 188.8 again multiplied by 2. Then the units joules per Kelvin per mole. Then subtract. We'll move to the reactant side. The first one is methane. It's 186.3 multiplied by 4 then you need to add oxygen it's 205.1 
joules per kelvin per mole. Next, 229.6 multiplied by 2, 459.2 plus 377.6. We need to subtract 745.2. Plus 205.1. Simplify. 836.8 minus 950.3. Therefore, the final answer is a negative value minus 113.5 joules per Kelvin per mole. Question number 3. Calculate the standard Gibbs energy change for the reaction in part B1 above at 500 Kelvin. First, we will write down the expression for standard Gibbs energy change. Delta G0 equals standard enthalpy change minus Absolute temperature into standard entropy change. Now, we will substitute values for this expression. Delta H0, we have calculated during the question number 1. It's minus 299.8 kilojoules per mole. Minus temperature is 500 Kelvin. Then standard entropy change we calculated as minus 113.5. Again, uh, the unit is joules per Kelvin per mole. Therefore, we need to convert joules into kilojoules. The reason is in enthalpy change, the unit is kilojoules. Therefore, to convert joules into kilojoules, we can divide by 1000 or we can write 10 to the power minus 3. The unit is kilojoules per Kelvin per mole. Next. Minus 299.8. Therefore, final answer is minus 243.05 kilojoules per mole. Question number 4. State giving reasons. Whether increase in temperature favors the reaction in part B1 above. Assume that the enthalpy change and entropy change are independent of temperature. Standard Gibbs energy change calculated at 500 Kelvin is minus 243.05. So we can see delta G value is negative at 500 Kelvin temperature. That means at 500 Kelvin temperature, the given reaction is spontaneous. Now, the question asks you, giving reasons, we need to explain what will happen when the temperature increases. What will happen to the spontaneity? The sign of standard enthalpy change and standard entropy change are important to find the effect of temperature for the given reaction. Standard enthalpy change of this reaction is negative. Standard entropy change also negative. Therefore, we can say this product will be a positive answer. When the temperature increases, the positiveness increases. Therefore, with the increasing temperature, delta G will become a positive value. When delta G becomes positive, the reaction is non-spontaneous. Therefore, increasing temperature does not favor the given reaction. 
the reason is with increasing temperature the product of t delta s the positiveness increases therefore delta g becomes positive positive delta g means the reaction is non spontaneous therefore we can say increasing temperature does not favor the given reaction